Hello, I'm Stuart Rumley, Ballon Technology, and perhaps you've recently purchased an HP 8970B through the used market. Uh, this is a very nice noise figure meter. Uh, making measurements is pretty straightforward on uh, active devices such as uh, amplifiers, but making measurements on frequency translators like a down converter, for example, uh, can be a little difficult, and the manual that's provided to uh, with the instrument it's not very clear. And I struggled with this for a while but I think I've figured it out. I'd like to help you by taking you through the steps. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is you need to get a uh, noise source. Uh, your meter probably didn't come with a noise source. So this is a Noisecom NC346B. It's identical as far as I know to the HP or Agilent uh, in uh, 346B uh, noise source. Uh, after you obtain your uh, noise source, you need to do the uh, uh, enter the E and R values, and um, that's spelled out pretty well in the manual. There's the uh, E and R function there, and for example, I can select a frequency. Uh, I'm going to select 14, 20 megahertz, and I'm going to look at the, the, uh, the value that's stored here by pressing 5.2 special function, and that shows that uh, the interpolated noise uh, ENR for this uh, measurement is 15.37 dB. Um, so let's get started making the noise figure measurement for my uh, converter and the converter under test I'm going to zoom in and show you here is this um, uh, right here you can see there's uh, it's a it's a prototype unit um, there's the um, first stage LNA, um, second stage LNA, the together they provide about 40 dB of gain. There is a um, ceramic dielectric bandpass filter for um, selecting the RF input frequency and eliminating the image frequency. This is a double balanced mixer, it's a mini circuits part. Um, and uh, its uh, LO is being derived from this Valon 5009 synthesizer. Uh, the LO frequency is uh, 1276. Uh, actually, I think it might be 1274 in this case. But anyway, it produces a first IF of around 145 megahertz, um, which is filtered here with a, another mini circuit bandpass filter. Uh, primarily to reject the LO, um, we'd would uh, prefer not to have too much LO and there isn't an awful lot so this may or may not be entirely necessary. There's the post uh, mixer amplifier, the first IF amplifier which is a triquent part and then that gets converted again with our second uh, passive uh, balance mixer, another mini circuit part and its LO is also provided by the Valon 5009 uh, at about 131 megahertz and that provides a uh, second IF at 15 megahertz and you can see we run that through our uh, attenuator here just to have some extra control of the value. We don't absolutely need that. So let's get started with the measurement. I'm going to focus in on the the um, meter here so you can watch what I'm doing. Um, not entirely necessary but I'm going to go ahead and press preset so that we all start from the same spot. Um, I notice I have the um, noise source connected to the uh, noise figure meter uh, input. Now, the first thing I want to do here is um, I want to let the noise figure meter know that it's making a measurement on a frequency translator. So, uh, first thing I want to do is put it in that mode by pressing 1.3 special function. And as you can see, um, the display shows uh, external mixer and it comes up at uh, arbitrary frequency or preset frequency of 10,000 megahertz. So, we want to take that and, and um, now, next, in, 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 uh, enter the frequency we're going to make the measurement at, which is 1420 uh, megahertz. So now it knows that uh, it's going to use the interpolated ENR uh, value for our source at 1420 megahertz. Now we need to let it know what the IF frequency is, and by that, uh, we, or in order to do that, we enter uh, 3.0 special function and then our IF frequency uh, 15 megahertz. So now our 
uh, noise figure meter is set up to uh, measure noise figure at 1420 megahertz, so that, which is where we're concerned about the noise figure at the front end, but it, but it knows to tune to 15 megahertz to, uh, to do the uh, actual measurement. So the, the important thing I'm going to do now, which is I think the part that gets sort of um, uh, overlooked in the uh, user's manual, is I want to do a calibration now with this uh, after I've gone through the two special function setups. So I'm going to go ahead and press calibrate twice. That gives me calibration. And now if I go to corrected, uh, you can see I get a, a corrected value of about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 dB and a gain of, uh, I mean a corrected value of about 0 0.2 dB gain and a noise figure of about 2, minus 2 dB. So it's not possible to have a negative noise figure. Um, except, uh, as you know, the noise figure on the, e the ENR value of the noise source is higher at uh, 15 megahertz than it is at 14.2. Uh, so that's why we get this uh, sort of odd uh, noise figure meeting, reading. Now, I'm not going to make any other uh, changes to the noise figure meter. I'm just going to remove the noise diode, the noise source, and we're going to go ahead and make our measurement. Well, we're connected here. You want to make sure your connections are tight when you're making um, these kind of measurements because uh, noise will leak in from the environment. And you're doing a erroneous beam. Okay, so there we are. So you can see right now we're reading the gain, 45.5 dB, and we're reading the noise figure of about uh, 0.3 dB, which is very good. I'm going to add some smoothing or filtering here to the display so you can get a better look at that. Um, one of the nice features of this meter is I can read this out in degrees Kelvin uh, simply by pressing 10.4 special function and now we're reading our um, noise uh, temperature in degrees uh, Kelvin. Um, so that's it. It's that simple. Uh, you want to press uh, 1.3 to get it into the uh, uh, special function that allows for a device under test that's a frequency translator and then special function 3.0 to enter your IF. And that's essentially the two steps that are important. And I hope that helps. Thank you for watching.